To those that are out here doing this labor in sincerity and in truth, we're the watchmen for Israel here in Pittsburgh here to wake up. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans letting y'all know that y'all are the children of Israel and that y'all need to come back to these law, statutes, and commandments and have faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And also we're out here for the elect and those that, are, that pertain to the elect of that group of the 12 tribes. Uh, we're going to start out uh, in the book of Romans uh, chapter 3 and verse 3. It's the book of Romans, chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? For what if some did not believe? So what if some of you so-called blacks, Latinos, or Native Americans uh, don't want to believe that you're the Lord's chosen people? So what if the heathen don't want to believe that the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Lord's chosen people, that we're the Israelites according to the Bible? So what if you uh, don't want to believe that? Reading on. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Hey, so re regardless of whether or not if you believe or not, what's written in this book is not going to come back void, you know? So if the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, says that he made a covenant with the Israelites, who are you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and also those that are scattered from one end of the earth unto the other, or what have you, amongst the other nations, if he says he made a covenant that we would have an everlasting kingdom if we're part of that number of that remnant of the 12 tribes or what have you. Hey, it is what it is, whether if you believe it or not. Right. It's going to happen. That's Reading right. on. God forbid. God forbid. Which means hell no. Reading on. Yeah. Let God be true, but every man a liar. Yeah, let the most high, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, be true, and every man a liar. That's right. You see, every, every false prophet, every false pastor that's out here trying to debunk the truth that's coming out on these highways and hedges, hey, man, they ain't nothing but liars out that's here, right. man. But the most high is faithful. Reading on. Fuck it. Let, God forbid. Yeah, let God be true and every man a liar, as it is written. And every so-called white person is going into slavery, man. You know, like That's first right. and foremost, man. And there ain't going to be no runaway so-called white people in that day, man. Right. You know, they ain't going to be able to escape. You know, there's not going to be no underground railroad, you know, for the so-called white man out here, man. Right. You know, and you sell out Negroes that want to uh, want to uh, be an abolitionist for the so-called white man in that day or what have you. Y'all going to be put to death also. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Reading on. Thou they may be justified in thy sayings. Exactly. And that's, and that's according to the scriptures, man, that all you so-called white people are going into slavery, man. Let me get uh, the book of Obadiah uh, uh, 1 and, and, and verse uh, 15, man. You know? Because we got to get on that, man. Because these so-called white people walk around here proud, thinking that just because the sun is out, that they don't need to be, you know, somewhere hiding out here, man. You know? But there's going to come a time, hey, where the Lord is going to show out, man. That's right. You know? These so -called, hey, hey, these other nations, these heathen, hey, they don't fear the Lord, man. You know? And hey, let me get uh, the book of uh, Psalms uh, 33 and, uh, and verse 8, man. You know? I'm tired of seeing these, uh, these heathen out here carefree out here, man. With no fear, man. What do you want? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 8. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let what? Let, Let all, all the earth, earth fear the Lord. Let all the earth fear you, how about Shem and how shine, man. There's going to come a time in that day, man, you know, where the Lord is going to give his men power out here, man, you know. Where, hey, all we're going to have to do is shake the hand. And when you hear that name, Yahweh Baha Shem and how shine, hey, you heathen are going to be trembling in y'all's boots, man. That's right. Reading on. Let all inhabitation of the world stand in awe of him. Yes, in that day, hey, man, y'all are going to be standing in awe because he's going to show out, man, you know, with these plagues that he's going to be bringing on you heathen out here. Everybody's going to know, hey, man, it was the God of Israel That's that right. delivered these people, man, you know. Hey, 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 the Lord is going to be glorified on this earth, man, and he's going to be glorified through his chosen people. That's right. Let me get out uh, the book of Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6, man. Reading on. Obadiah, what? 1 and 15. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 15. For the days of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. For the day of the Lord is what? 
For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. The day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. And the day of the Lord is going to be dark. It's going to be wrath. You see? The last, the last relationship that you want to have is with a so-called white man. You know? That's right! We get tired of seeing our sisters out here trying to seek safety by walking next to a damn dog out here, Bye -bye. man. You know? Reading on. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. You see? So there was a time where, hey, if you was a so-called black man, you know, or so-called black woman, or what have you, and, and, and you was walking on the sidewalk, and there was a so-called white man or white woman walking towards you on that same sidewalk, Hey, you would have to step off of the sidewalk and stand in the mud and let them walk by you. You see? And that, and that was mainly because of fear that the so-called white man had put into the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans throughout all of the terrorism that he was able to uh, partake in against our people, man. You know? But hey, all of this stuff is going to be reversed. That's right! You see? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. That's right. You see? Because there was a time when we couldn't even look in the so-called white man's eyes when we was talking to him. Because if we did, we'd be tar and feathered. So what you think is going to happen to them? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. That's right. You see? Thus and it, and the it, Lord. It, it thus said the Lord, man. Reading on. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. So, hey, all of that terrorism, all of that harassment that, that, that y'all did to our people, man, you know? You know, during the industrialized age, you know? Whenever uh, you had steel and, and, and industrialization and, and, and the buildup of roads and bridges and all of that, where do you think all the metal was coming from? It was coming from the so-called white man going around gathering up so-called black uh, black men that, that were so-called loitering, you see, that, that couldn't provide proof that they had employment. So what they would do, they would gather them up and, 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 and put them in prison and, 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 had them on, and had them with prison labor or what have you, you see, to, to be up in those mines working their fingers to the bone, man. So what do you think is going to happen to them, you see? Hey, hey, there ain't gonna be no rest for the labor that we're gonna put you so-called white people through, man. That's right. Because y'all did that to us, so it's gonna happen to y'all. That's right. Let me get uh, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, Bubba Gashaw, reading on. As for ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall shall thou drink, and they shall swallow down. They shall swallow down, you see. So there's not gonna be no relief, you see. See, the Lord had mercy on us when we were in slavery, you know, to a degree where we had abolitionists. We were able to go into parts of Mexico. We were able to go up north, you know, to, uh, to get so-called freedom. You know, we were able to buy, you know, uh, in certain cases, our freedom, you know, uh, uh, so-called, you see. But that's not going to happen to you heathen, though. You ain't going to be able to buy your way out of this. You're going to have to swallow down. That's right. And y'all are going to swallow down this bondage, you see? And, and y'all are going to be fearful. Y'all are going to be terrified in that day, man. Reading on. Verse 16 again. For as ye have drunken upon my holy mountain, so drink, shall, so shall the heathen drink continuously. Yea, they shall, as, they shall drink, and they all shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Hey, hey, so y'all ain't gonna be nobody in that day, That's man. That's right. You see? The, 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 hey, hey, if y'all even think about looking at one of our sisters in, the, in that day, man, the daughters of Zion, with, with, a, with a little bit of lust or what have you, it, hey, it's gonna be Emmett Till times 10. God. You see? Because that, that blood that was spilt with Emmett Till, hey, that still hasn't been accounted for. You see? Reading on, verse 17, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. A hey, deliverance and holiness. Hey, hey, if you're up to uh, uh, the remnant of the 12 tribes of Israel, man, and the Lord has mercy on you, man, hey, man, hey, there's going to be deliverance, and there's going to be separation, you see? 
people are gonna know, hey, there's an Israelite on deck, man. I, hey, I, I better, hey, I better put my head down, you know. I better hope that the name Yahweh Bashem Shai don't come up, because the name is dreadful among the heathen, man. You see, and it's gonna be dreadful in that day, man. Y'all gonna start putting some respect on the Lord's name, man. Reading on. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Exactly. Hey, so everything that was taken away from us, all of the gold, all of the silver, you know, all of the prestige, you know, hey, we're going to get all of that back, man. You know, and, and, and we're going to possess everything that that, that devil uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth has in her storehouses with all that gold. Hey, man, hey, she going to have to run that, man, you know. Hand deliver it herself. Teach up. Reading on. Verse 18. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. The house of Esau for what? The house, house of, of Esau, Esau for, for stubble. stubble. The house of Esau for stubble, man. Right. And y'all are going to be destroyed, man. There ain't going to be no more Edomites walking around, That's man. Right. I like it when the weather is bad, man. Because oh. you, you don't see Edomites outside so much, man. <laughs> you know? Every time the sun come out, that's all you see, man. It's Edomites riding bikes out here, walking dogs, man. Dog oh. walking a damn dog, man. Oh. I hate seeing that, man. Reading on. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord hath spoken. Hey, man, you know, the Lord spoke this, man. So whether or not, if you believe it or not, hey, man, there's going to come a time where there ain't going to be no more white people out here, man, you know? Hey, and that's going to be a joyful day, man, you know? Man, Lord, hey, that's a, that should be enough motivation for our brothers and sisters to be out here doing the work, man, right. and getting themselves right with the Lord, man. That's right. Because the covenant, it pertains unto us if we're part of that number, man. Hey, hey, let me get the book of uh, 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 Hebrews uh, chapter 8 and verse 10. Uh, you got that? Uh, and, and we'll get uh, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, Bubba Gashaw. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. All these what? All the curses upon thine enemies. Hey, so all the curses that we have to go through, you know, being the uh, first ones fired and the last ones hired, you know, being gunned down in the streets, you know, with no violence, with, with, no, uh, with no judgment or what have you. Right. You know, hey, man, that's going to that's gonna be flipped out here, man. Reading on. And on them that hate thee. On them that what? And on them that hate thee. Hey, the so-called white man, the so-called Arab, you know? And the, you know, the Edomites, the Ishmaelites, you know? Hey, 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 you, 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 you eight so-called Asians out here, you know? Hey, y'all, y'all, y'all hate the so the, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And the so-called white man is so hypocritical, yo. You know, they set they set up some legislation where you can't talk bad about Asians out here, man. Because, uh, at, uh, you know, you know, uh, because, hey, that would be hate speech, you know? But, but hey, but what about, uh, what about uh, Hiroshima, you know? And, and Nagasaki, you know, they, they can drop nuclear bombs on, on Asians or whatever and kill hundreds of thousands of them. You know, but then if you talk bad about them, then that's hate speech. Right, you know, right. what, what, hey, what, what about Vietnam? You know, hey, hey, they go over there in Vietnam trying to bully them around. You know, before America did it, you had the French over there oppressing the uh, oppressing the Asians over there. That's right. You know, if they were really about equality, hey, they would shut down a lot of those military bases that they got over there on that side of the world. That's right. And hey, y'all know your nationality according to the Bible. You got a minute to hear the word? A bit, a bit in here, the word for the Lord. Praise. Hey, uh, all praise. I see you got the, uh, uh, the, the tattoo there, faith. You know, oh, only God can judge me. Okay, okay. But hey, man, we, we got to get a, a commandment there. Let me get uh, the book of uh, uh, Leviticus. Um, and you know what I want. Uh, 20, I believe that's 26. 19. Come over here and listen to, brother. Come. You can get closer. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 26. Bring it out. Ye shall not eat. Oh, uh, uh, 27. So, like, this is the first 
book of Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of your beard. It's lucky. You shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thou murder the corners of thy beard. Ye shall not make any cuttings in thy flesh. Ain't no cuttings of the flesh. You see, so whenever you're getting those tattoos, you're actually cutting your flesh when you do that. Reading on. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Hey, hey, so you can't print any marks upon yourself either also as well. You see, so now that you know, hey, you got to repent from that. That's you right. see, you know, you didn't know any better at right, first, right. you know, because, hey, we're holy, uh, set apart people. Let me get uh, Deuteronomy uh, 18 and, and 30 or what have you, uh, Bubba Kishore. I got you. 18 and 13. 18 and 13. 18 and 13. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 13. Bring it out. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Thou shalt be what? Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. Hey, we got to be perfect out here. And the way that we make ourselves perfect is by following these law, statutes, and commandments and repenting or what have you. You, you, you listening? Um, okay, okay. Uh, con, con. Uh, now, um, uh, as far as on the sign right here, uh, where, do you, uh, where do you stand as far as your nationality is concerned on this side? That this, uh, what's that? You're, you're Native American... African American, by the seat of your father, by the seat of your father. Oh, by the seat of your father. Who would your dad be? You're not sure. Are you not sure? Oh, well, that's what. Hey, that's one of the curses, right. actually. Uh, that's a in curse. The book. Hey, let me get uh, the that's book of Deuteronomy. That's one of the curses that God put on us. On us. I got a curse. On us as a people, yes. For disobedience. Who disobedience? Yeah, yeah. No, let, let's start with uh, Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28 and verse. Uh, 15. Oh, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we got to get the context. Of Con, this, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah, so uh, if we don't listen diligently to the, the, the voice of the Lord, to keep these commandments that all these curses will come upon us and one it. of those curses is what you just described about not knowing who your father is you see and let, uh, let me get the book hey, hey see let me get the book of uh, uh, 28 and 54 uh, Bubba Gishaw. it's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 54 and it reads so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. The man that is tender among you and very delicate. That means uh, the, uh, your brother or what have you, your neighbor. Hey, hey, don't, don't even worry about a flyer, man, because, uh, hey, they, they don't want to listen, man, you know? So, so, hey, you know, if you don't have ears to hear, you know, then, hey, they can, they can go in, man, you know? We, we ain't worried about it, you know? Hey, hey, to them it's not given, you know? Hey, hey we, we don't waste time with those that don't want to, hey, they, they, Hey, let me get the book of um, um, let me get uh, uh the book of Acts, um, uh, chapter seventeen and verse thirty, uh, by book of Sean. Acts seventeen and thirty. This is the book of Acts, chapter seventeen, verse thirty. At the time of this ignoring, to like in the time of this ignorance, God winked at. Hey, hey so the, the Most High, he'll you know he'll let things slide, man. You know, whenever you're not in the know, you see. Hey, hey, he'll just let it slide until, you know, he decides to say, hey, now is the time, you know. And let me get uh, the book of Romans 13 and 11, where he says, now is the time to awake out of sleep. Reading on. But now command all men everywhere to repent. Hey, all men and women out here everywhere to repent, you see. So if that, I guess, sister or what have you doesn't repent, hey, she's going to be destroyed, man, you know. And, that, and that's in the scriptures. Let's get that written in red. Uh, uh, Luke uh, 13 and verse 3, Bubba Gashaw. This is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And now that knowing the time, that is high time, time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we've believed. Exactly. So now it's time to awake out of sleep, you see. So, hey, yo, you can't be out here sleepwalking. If you don't know what your nationality is, and you have a group that's coming out every single week to edify our people as far as who they are, what is required of them to be able to receive this salvation or what have you. Hey, man, hey, you, hey that's on you, man, you know? You, you, you just gonna miss the boat, man. That's right. 
Reading on. It's the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 3. I tell ye nay, but except ye repent. Except ye what? Except ye repent. Except ye turn out of the ways of this world, man. Out of homosexuality, you know? Uh, uh, out of uh, witchcraft and, 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 and wickedness. Everything that everything that's, that goes on in this society here, hey, we got to come out of that, man. That's right. Let me get uh, the book of uh, Micah uh, 2 and verse 10, Bubba Kishore. First, let's get that one more time, Bubba Kishore. This is the book of Luke chapter 3, 13, verse 3. I tell ye nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Hey, except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Which means, hey, you're going to be put to death if you don't come back to these law, statutes, and commandments and having faith in your how about Shem and how Right. You right. see? And it all starts with the fear, man. Our people don't fear the Lord, man. Our people don't understand the judgment, man, that, that's getting ready to come to this place, man. And it's going to start with our people, man. Reading on. This is the book of Micah, chapter 2, verse 10. Bring it out. Arise, ye, and depart. Arise, ye, and do what? Arise, ye, and depart. Hey, he's talking to you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, man. Arise, ye, and depart. Reading on. For this is not your rest. Hey, this kingdom that we're living in right now, Hey, this is the so-called white man's kingdom, man. This is his heaven, you see? Right. This is his turn to rule, you know? But it's going to all come to naught, you see? And all of the wickedness that he's done in his society and during his rulership, it's going to come back on him, man. That's right. You know? And if you're joined up with the ways of this world and the heathen, hey, you're going to get caught up in that judgment as well. That's why right. it says, arise ye and depart. For right. this is not your rest. We're in our captivities, Israel. Reading on. Because it is polluted. Because it is what? Because, because it is polluted. It is polluted. Mainly, this land is polluted with the blood of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And that blood has not been shed yet. Reading on. It shall destroy you. It shall what? It, it shall, shall destroy you. And you're going to be destroyed, man. You know, you're going to be walking around here. You don't know who you are. You know, you're following the ways of the heathen. You're not keeping any of the high holy days. You know, you're not following any of these laws, statutes, and commandments. You don't know the Lord's real name. You don't know the son's real name, right. which is Yahweh. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. That's right. Reading on. Even with the sword destruction. Even with the what? Even, even with, with the, the sword destruction. destruction. Even with the sword destruction, man. Because the covenants, hey, that goes to Israel, man. So this covenant that we was trying to read to the sister, or what have you, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1, chapter 28 and verse 15, that covenant pertains to the nation of Israel, That's man. That's right. And we get uh, the book of Romans, uh, chapter 9 and uh, in verse 4, uh, Papa Geshaw. And uh, let me get uh, Deuteronomy uh, 28 and verse 10, uh, Papa Kishore. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are who? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? Who are you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans? Reading on. To whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenant, and the what? And the covenant. And the covenants, you see? So the covenants, when it comes to not only just the curses, we're talking about the blessings also as well. And one of those main blessings is the fear that the heathen is going to have whenever they come across one of us if we're part of that number when the kingdom is established and being established here on earth, man. Right. Whether if you like it or not, or what have you, we are not equal to the heathen, man. And the heathen are going to be trembling in that day, and I can't wait. That's right. Anymore? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 10. Bring it out. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, Yahweh. And they shall be afraid of thee. And they shall be what? And they, and they shall, shall be, be afraid, afraid of thee. Hey, hey, that, that, that's part of the covenant, man, of obedience. Because that's part of the blessings, you see? of obedience, man. And we just read earlier just now about the covenants pertaining unto the Israelites, That's man. Right. It don't pertain to nobody else, man. Right. We done been through this whole scenario where we gotta bow down to the so-called white man whenever he walks by, man. 
We should be tired of being afraid of the so-called white man who are the Edomites according to the Bible, man. It's about time for them to start being afraid of us, man. That's right. And in order for that to happen, hey, we got to be doing this. Let me get, uh, let's go up to verse 1, Bubba Gashaw. 28 and verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh, uh, let me, uh, uh, verse, uh, is that verse 28? 28, 28 one? If thou shalt hearken, uh, Bubba Kishaw. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou shalt listen to the voice of the Lord, man. Uh, ain't no thing, ain't no thing. Hey, if, 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 we, if we shall listen to the voice of the Lord, this is what the Lord said would happen. Reading on. And if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hey, let's, uh, let's pause right there. Uh, Salak you. Uh, let's get that one more time, Bubba Kishore. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. No, 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 no. He's going to make us equal to the heathen. He's going to make us equal to the so-called white man. No, what did the Bible say? That the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth above all nations of the earth you see and that's only right man that's right see the, the most high Yahweh ba shim yahweh shai hey man it's all about division that's right it's all about sanctification man oh. of this of this holy set apart people who are you so-called blacks latinos and native americans it's not about equal and civil rights man it's about his chosen people being above everybody else because his ways are above everybody else's, man. That's right. And that's a covenant right there that is for the children of Israel, you see? If we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments and obey his voice. And one of the covenants is in the New Testament that we're going to get right here. Read it on. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, verse 10. Bring it out. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. That I will make with who? And this is the New Testament here. That I will make with who? The house of Israel. The house of Israel. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. And you Israelites that are scattered amongst the other nations out here. He's going to make a covenant with the house of Israel. That's right. And this is what the house of Israel is going to get. Reading on. After those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts. 